Hi there, this is Miss Nelson again, and right now we are going to do the second part of Lesson 1.1 in our fourth grade Go Math book. Lesson 1.1 is about modeling place value relationships. So the first thing that I want to tell you is this important item right here, that every time um, you have you move in the place value chart over one spot, it's like you're multiplying by 10. So as this sentence says, the value of each place is 10 times the value of the place to the right. So this right here is 10 times the ones. The hundreds is 10 times the tens. So every time you move over, it's like multiplying by 10 or adding an extra zero onto the end, extra place onto the end of your number. So we're gonna work through this page together to help you hopefully understand place value a little bit better. Before we go ahead and write this in, I want to just go over this chart with you really quick. And I wanna tell you, you probably already know some of these place values, but I wanna give you a little bit more since you're in fourth grade now. So every time you have three numbers, you're supposed to put a comma there, right? So three more numbers, we should have another comma. Every time you get to a spot where you're supposed to have a comma or you have three numbers, that gives you a different, what we call, period. So in this place value chart, we have three different periods and they're already labeled for us. This is the numbers and this are in the ones period. So that's our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. The numbers between these two lines are in the thousands periods. And the numbers between here and here are in the millions period. So those separations between three numbers are called periods. This is the ones period, this is the thousands period, this is the millions period. And then here's what you're probably already used to. I'm gonna write in our number. Oops, that's wrong. It's not supposed to go there. Let me see if I can do it up here. Oh, nope, I can't do it right there. Let me make this a little bit smaller, I'm sorry. Don't wanna erase all of it. Ooh. Erase that eight right there, I put it in the wrong spot. See, even teachers mess up. Okay, so we have the number. 894,613. So now, in fourth grade, you need to know through the millions. So this number right here is our ones, this is our tens, our hundreds, then we're moving into the thousands place. This would be the one thousands place, ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So see how I just put this word after each one? So this place is the one thousands place, this is the ten thousands place, and this is the hundred thousands place. And now we don't have numbers over here, but this would be the one millions place, ten millions place, and the hundreds millions place. So you're going to be responsible for knowing what a period is, which is the numbers that come three in a row before or after a comma. Three in a row, so ones period, thousands period, millions period. Then you're gonna also be able, be responsible for knowing the names of each place. Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, one millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Okay. So, now that we went over that, we're gonna look at what you're gonna have to do. So you're gonna be given some different kinds of problems in this lesson. The first kind of problem that you're gonna be given is it's gonna give you two numbers, and it's gonna say compare the values of the underlined digit. Well, if we look at an underline, the underlined digit, we see it's a three here, and it's a three here. So don't get confused, they're not both just three we have to look at the place value that it's in to determine how much each number is worth. So the way that we do that is we ignore all 
of the other numbers in front of the underlined one. And we're just going to copy down the one that's underlined. And we're going to change any number that's behind it to a zero. That just has one number behind it, so we're going to change it. So this 3 is worth 30. That's the value of the 3 that is underlined. But over here, remember we, we ignore every number that's in front of our underlined number. We write down our underlined number, and any number that's after it, we make into a 0. 0, 0. So this underlined 3 is worth 300. This underlined 3 is worth 30. Now we can see that over here in our picture where they modeled it. This is our first one, 2,304, and they modeled the 3 as 300. 1, 2, 3. And this one's our second number out of 16,100. Oops, that's a weird 3. 35. They modeled this 3 as 30. So 10, 20, 30. So now we can see that this number, 3, has a higher value than this number, 3. Because 300 is higher or larger than 30. All right, so that's how you compare values of underlying digits using place value. And you need to know that place value chart in and out in order to be able to compare numbers well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you and that you will be able to do lesson 1.1 with no problems at all. If you are having problems, just go ahead and rewatch this video again. And you're more than welcome to leave some comments and ask me some questions if you still have questions. All right, thanks.